Hey, what's happening, gamers? Welcome to a very special Gaming with the K-Wings. Uh, hey, everyone. Which is our uh, Let's Play, or walkthrough, or whatever videos you want to refer to it as. Whatever uh, you want to call it. Yeah. Um, since we were really into the X-Men lately, watching the <laughs> old 90s show on DVD, uh, we decided to do the playthrough of the arcade game, which was re-released -re in November of uh, this year. And I hadn't, I hadn't gotten around to playing it yet, but... X-Men! It brings up so many good memories. It was just such a fun game to play. Uh, we're just going to be playing the four-player version because we don't like the um, widescreen aspect because it's harder to see the characters. Old. Yeah, so we like the arcade kind. Because that's that's what we... We actually played this on our, on our date in Rockford. They had it at that... At the arcade? Yeah, at that movie theater arcade. Oh, really? Yeah. Nope. That's sweet that you remember that, honey. Oh, you remember our date. Yeah, we're also going to be switching characters in and out. We don't really care if about I a can. score. <laughs> I um, haven't figured out how to switch yet. I like, ugh. Wait. Um, who do I want to start with? No, oh, Dazzler sucks. Uh, I don't want to be psych. Colossus Wolverine. Does she really suck? Because I might not want to start. Nobody, start. nobody likes Dazzler. I, 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 I remember right, playing. I'm gonna start with my good old Storm. She's awesome. Uh, I'll, I'll go with Nightcrawler. Nightcrawler's a man in this game. It's awesome. Awesome. Okay. In the 21st right. century, evil mutants led by Magneto aim to destroy the world. No. Humans could do nothing against the power of the evil mutant. We, we had to have the headphones on for this game because, uh, they, they, they There's talk. a lot of narration. Yeah. Well, bad narration. Plus, we have to make fun of them. Go and save the city. Okay. They're standing there like, what? <laughs> yeah, Amber and I love arcade beat-em-ups. Yeah, this reminds me of, uh... Uh, Ninja Turtles! That's the first thing I thought of when it was like, this is like Ninja Turtles! Well, Konami made this. So it was done by the same team that did the Turtles. Oh, Ninja Turtles is an awesome game. I've never, I had never played this before I played it with you earlier today, so. No, we played it. No. Oh. Well, in the right, arcade. In the, in the arcade, Maybe. but that was almost seven years ago. No, that was seven years ago. ago. I'm so old. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. We just dated ourselves. Like it's like now people know that we're at least we've been together for at least seven years. <laughs> oh yeah. <Long> <laughs> I lost my job. That's why we couldn't get married right away. We would have been married by the time I was 21. I know that would have been awesome. Or 20. I didn't get married. You were 23. I was 22. Ah. I know it was hard. It was hard. Like I, I wanted to get married really early, but we, we ended up getting married, and here we are. Married the love of my life. Score. <laughs> Score. So, if you gamers are wondering how this game works, uh, the mutant powers can only be activated when you have a lot of health. I oh, I was wondering how that worked too. Yeah. So do you have an endless supply of them, like when you have um, high health? Or... No. It, it, All right, so it like it drains. Watch, see, just drained uh, most of my health. Oh, so it drains your health. Yeah, but you can do it like up to three times. Oh. Usually. I see. And also, you know, lots of. Huh. Huh. You have a really cool jump. I, I sound like a bird. Ah! Ah! Well, Actually, all the girls sound like th that. This was done back when voice actors literally could only record a couple words, and then they would paste them together. It sounds so funny later on. This is like our fourth time playing this today. Yeah, we've been playing this, like, since... We've been playing this for hours today. Yeah, it's fun. Oh. 
I was gonna say since two o'clock, but nobody knows what time it is now. Like, it's like, so it doesn't matter, but we've been playing it for a few hours. It's around dinner time. Yeah, it's around dinner. It's around five something now. We've been playing, so we've been playing around two hours. I'm guessing this will only be two episodes. We'll post it on the weekend or something. Maybe Friday. It's hard to talk as much doing this game because it's like I'm concentrating. See, I just, I stopped concentrating and I died. Yeah, that's my excuse. <laughs> yeah. Watch out for the dude with the g Oh, never mind. <sighs> I just learned this cool thing where I kick up. It's it's really good for these guys with a the, the big gun that can knock you over. Like this. The trick with arcade games is you want to keep moving forward. That way it doesn't... Yeah, it doesn't I always forget forward. that because I'm like in the same spot. And if you keep staying in the same spot, enemies will keep reappearing and you'll never get out of that area. Right, hun? So it's like you'll just be doing the same level forever. Ultra Gamer 14 is now online. I don't even remember who that is. Oh! Oh, if you guys are wondering, our uh, PS3 name tag is uh, K Wing Reviews. Yeah, like that's hard. <laughs> so if you want to add us, feel free to. We don't get on our PS3 very much, though. No, we don't. But we are on right now, which will be. <laughs> in the in the past when you're watching this yeah <laughs> which is at the time you were watching this remember keep moving forward there you go i keep forget well it's weird because we're going to the left now yeah like, well they they change directions in arcade games i'm used to that i'm used to the same thing <laughs> I don't like it how some, some people, when they leave comments, it's like, this isn't an arcade game. It's like, most arcade games, why I refer to beat-em-ups as arcade games anyway, is because most of the arcade games, when I was a kid, they were all beat-em-ups. Yeah. They were all coin-up beat-em-ups. It's an arcade-style game. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. But there, no, not not every arcade game was a beat-em-up, but I just refer to arcade games. People or beat-em-ups be, as people arcade People want to be difficult and nitpicky. As if, as if implying that you didn't know. It's yeah. like, yeah, jump, if there's jump, anyone jump, who jump, would jump. know. No. It's called splitting hairs. I love Nightcrawler. He is awesome. Oh. You were just talking about that in her class today. Cause I what, Nightcrawler's morning. awesome? No, splitting hairs, because she's like, if you think the answer's C, like, she's like, don't. She's like, we don't have time to go over every possible answer. She's like, the answer's B, so let's not split hairs over these. It's like, because it, they're like, well, the answer could be B if, you know, if the patient oh, was five. It's like, uh, yes, but it's Nightcrawler. Okay, so just so uh, you guys and gals know too, this game has unlimited con continues. When they port arcade games on the WiiWare, PlayStation Network, and Xbox Live, uh, the coin em up games always let you have unlimited continues. Ah, oh, so that's why they let me keep playing. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering, I thought I was awesome. Oh, you're so awesome. I thought, I am. Aww, thanks, honey. You're awesome too. Awesomer. One of these days, what we have to do, because people were like, you guys didn't really beat uh, Batman and Robin on the Genesis, you just used, like, clips and stuff. It's like, no, we actually beat it. And what's funny is, people were like, you guys were so hard on that game, it's like, the score system was a joke. We're, we're the biggest Batman nerds ever, especially yeah. when it comes to the animated series. So, the 4 out of 10 score was a joke. It... it the game is right up there with, um, although I think we like Gunstar Heroes better than the Batman and Robin on Genesis, but it's not, it's not the worst game ever. That's why my score system is, like, completely flawed and why I don't use it anymore, is because people will go back and watch one of those and be like, uh, you gave this game that, 
But um, you gave its clone this. Wait, like, but don't you sometimes use the four out of five system? Uh, Game Nights TV is completely separate. All right, I had to I had to turn my controller on and off again because every once in a while my controller keeps leading to the left. That's my excuse anyway. I already did it. That's why that guy beat me over the head because my controller was off for a second. <laughs> I'm just trying to make an excuse, okay, why I was just standing there. <laughs> so I appear cool. Nothing of course, I'm getting killed block. anyway. Even though I have it. Oops. There. I'm changing character now. Alright, you'll have to show me how to do that later. Cyclops. Hey, look, I can use my mutant power again. Haha. <laughs> oh, when you change, you can? Yeah. Cool. Cyclops is such a girl. Oh, even the way he fights. He's not, he's awesome. Cyclops is sweet. I like I like him and Jean together. Oh, in the 90s show? Well, in the 80s she was dead by this point. I like Jean! Because Pride of the X-Men takes place after the Phoenix I like Jean Grey! I, I, I know, we were just watching the Phoenix thing and I was like... And, and, uh, K-Wing was asking me what my favorite character was. And I was like, it was before we watched dark, the Phoenix. Dark, 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 and I was dark, like, dark. it's Gene. Gene's really cool, you know? And, and you were like, uh... We have been taken by Magneto. She's evil. What is that, jelly on his mouth? It's a big nipple. Look, it looks like he's bleeding from his lip, too. <laughs> he's in bad shape. Hit him shape. again. <laughs> Beat up the cripple. No. <laughs> Hey, look, it's. I think this is supposed to be Savage Island. Savage, Savage Land. Savage Land. All I know it's that crazy place where that guy turns into a dinosaur. You mean Pterodactyl? Although, this could be the island where the Uncanny X Men first meet the original X Men in the 70s. The giant X Men issue. I can't sure. remember the number. I don't, I don't think I ever saw that, but. I had it. I don't know if I have it anymore. Most of my comic books. I, I whatever. Okay, so which X Men thing were we watching then? The nineties thing. And we were we were watching the nineties, and this is the eighties one, the game that we're playing right now. Yeah, this okay. is the Uncanny X Men. I see. Punch, punch, punch. Kick. Yeah, I think um I think the outfit that Storm has in the nineties is a little like less provocative than this one here. Oh no, no This doubt. is like the most this this one from the 80s that I'm playing with right now is like, oh my gosh. Well like, actually technically that's like how can you walk around legally like this? That's the outfit she had in the 70s and 80s. But yeah, she, but she I've had never... she had like kind of this heavy metal chick uh, with like a mohawk haircut in the 80s. But it's just like so. I think Storm is the most provocative superhero, like, ever. Like, white. I have never seen anyone dressed as, as provocatively as she does. White, white Queen wears a cor corset. But that's and nothing. A, Look at what she's wearing. She's wearing nothing. This is like nothing. She's like... Anyway. Alright, forget it. <laughs> Why am I still playing a cyclone? She's still... Uh, even White Queen is, is showing less skin. Not in the comics today, they I mean, show the more skin. skin. She wears basically like a bikini or something. Alright. Well, I guess, especially in the 80s though, I would have thought this was provocative, but now you look at like singers today up on stage. Yeah. They wear like bikinis while they're singing. It's like, uh, okay. Bye, Ultra Gamer. St stuff I thought would, would have been, you know, illegal. It's like people wear it in Hollywood, so whatever. Well, it probably is illegal, but they just get away with it because they're rich. Oh. Boom. All right. So how do I switch characters? Even though Storm is awesome, and I don't want to stop being Storm. How you switch? Yeah. Um. I push pause or something. Yep. Go to change character. Yes. Now just move your control stick until you pick the character you want. Okay, I think I want to be... Dazzler. No, this guy. Colossus? Colossus. Yes! He's good, little one. Cool, I matched the other guys, except I'm way awesomer. More awesome. I'm 
way bigger. Look, he's so weak. Look at how he kicks. Oh, never mind. He threw the guy. He doesn't look like the. He doesn't look like oh, the. Oh, uh, the nineties. The nineties one. The nineties Cyclops looked awesome. I love that. Oh, costume. see, that's what I thought. Look at him. Look, look at how he he's kicks. He's kicking people. him when yeah, he's yeah, down. Yeah. Wait, this is the line. <laughs> welcome to die. Welcome to die. That's what he said. Shouldn't says. it be welcome to death or something or welcome? Bye, Cyclops. I'm done with you. Oh, I'm not being guys there. For a second, I thought I was the Cyclops. It's like, no, I'm. Oh, I am not. I am not used to. I think. Um. I think Storm is a little more agile than this guy. What's Try my name again? Colossus. Uh, Red Dazzler. Awesome! Never mind. I'm gonna try this guy out for a little bit. Gator. Nice Cocktail. It's all the Russian name. Is that like an albino lion? Oh, that's Wendigo. Who's it? What? Wendigo. He's a Canadian villain for the movie. Is he? Kicking my butt, that's what he What kind of I don't know, he's a creature. mutant. Oh yeah. A lousy he's a mutant. mutant. A mutant. I guess I should ask the same about Nightcrawler. What creature is he? Mutant. Uh I guess there's no way to tell. I always hated Wolverine's like mutant power in this game. Why, why couldn't they give him this healing factor? What yeah, what what is its mutant power? I'll show you. I, I I I do a frenzy. I do that. Rah! That's awesome. Oh, it's okay. Oops, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No, that's fine. Uh, yes. yes. Okay, Storm is awesome. I'll be her. The Dazzler. I don't really Go have much of a choice. I'm better cave. with Agile. Oops, I'm sorry, Dazzler. Professor Xavier. The worst character in this game. The stripper. She's fast! Yeah. Oh, Excuse she... me, the dancer. Oh, I mean... The dancer. That's what she was. She's just a certain type of dancer. Although in the '90s cartoon they made her a singer, but she was only in the episode. Well, there sometimes isn't much of a difference. Let's uh, let's not go there. Like, uh, no, I'm uh, serious though. But um, basically, she. I mean, it wasn't that she was an unpopular character. It just seemed she was very boring, very, you know. But, I mean, they well, like the character concept because it created it's Jubilee weird, in the 90s. It's weird, because she's, like, covered up more than Storm is. Oh, that's a skin-tight outfit. You can tell that guys were the artists. Yeah, especially, I was saying something earlier, like, you know, St I don't know, Storm's costume is like, oh my gosh. Like, is that real? Was that really her costume in the cartoon, or did they just make it like that for the game? No, she had that costume in the uh, in, in that, the cartoon Pride of the X Men. That's just messed up. That's like a, they took away her belly button. It's like lingerie, though. They it's took, like how can you be wearing lingerie while fighting crime? <laughs> ask Wonder Woman. No, Wonder Woman's costume is not that bad. It's a bathing suit. So bathing suits are are practical. Lingerie is not. That's really gonna be practical with all those weird, you know, triangles and stuff. It's like very strange. Never mind. You have you much. have the um, mutant power of yours, you know. There you go. It is cool that Storm Storm's mutant power is the coolest though because she's got like a. She controls the elements. Yeah, yeah. she can. She has like a. She makes a storm, which is awesome. I mean, who has not, you know. Like when you're when you're younger, like when you're a little kid, I mean, who has not thought like, man, it would be so cool if I can make it snow or something, you know? You know what I mean? Like, it's such an awesome It'd be such an awesome power to have, like oh. blow people away with wind and stuff. That'd be funny. But um getting back to why you like the, the cartoon so much, the reason why you like it is because it's based after the stories from the seventies and eighties in the comic. 
It's like, they just 90s iced it. I, I don't even think that's a word, but they 90s, yeah, this, 90s it. The stories are like so, like when I watch the cartoon, it's like, oh my gosh, like these characters are so like complex. You know, like there's so much depth. It's like, it really makes you feel for them. It's like, oh my gosh. I still think that the best superhero show ever made was uh, Justice League, though. That was, I mean, just the stories cool. and the characters and everything was uh, amazing. I don't know. Batman the Animated Series counts as a superhero show. Well, it, uh, yes and no. And I have to say, Ben 10 is pretty awesome. <laughs> but I understand your idea of superheroes are like the... But... You know. I didn't truthfully watch the X-Men like all the way through when I was a kid. I watched uh, up to season three, I think. There's probably going to be future superheroes like Ben 10 and stuff that, you know, like that future generations will think of superheroes. Because these guys we think of as our superheroes. They'll probably be future characters that we won't even know about. You know what I mean? Well, X-Men have been around since the 60s. Oh. And the Uncanny X-Men have been around since the 70s. Wolverine. Well sometime in the 70s, I don't remember. I wasn't born, so I don't know. Where you could say the Ninja Turtles are the best superhero <laughs> but, show. But yeah, I know what you mean. Like, yeah. they're superheroes. Like, as in costume people who fight crime together. This video game that we're playing is actually based on the Uncanny X-Men, and also there was a um, failed TV show called X-Men, and the first episode was Pride of the X-Men. And that's why you you see these characters because these are based after my kicks it. that cartoon which i still need to show you but wolverine sounds terrible all the voice actors are terrible except for michael bell which is the a voice actor that you think is pretty cool? he was a famous voice actor from the 80s gi joe transformers that kind of stuff gi joe oh. you like gi joe yeah up until they Speaking kill Speaking of X-Men, are we... Yeah. Are we watching any more X-Men tonight? Yeah, we're watching um, the last part of Season 3. Yay! And then after that, we have nothing. Yeah, then we have to go buy more. I I don't know. I think that's... Um, Your X-Men fix. That, that's Sentinel. Uh, I can't remember his name. Um, Nimrod. There we go. I think that was Nimrod. Nimrod, is he a... You must rescue Oh! The voice is terrible. And the X Men killer off screen. <laughs> They're like. You can't be one of us. You're terrible. Die, die, die! You've been elected to die because your voice acting is horrible. Welcome to die! Oh, yeah, I gotta do this. Welcome to die! Ah! <laughs> I can't wait till we fight Magneto. That was really funny. I know. Die, die. You will die. Death. It's like. Okay. Can you say anything besides die? In the in the it, it's weird because this game makes Magneto into just somebody who wants to kill. Oops. Like I don't know. In the cartoon we were watching, Magneto has all this depth to him. Like oh, oh yeah. You know. But then like in this game, it's like die, die. Well, in the 60s. That's not really Magneto. In the 60s and 80s, he was well, late 80s. He was kind of crazy, and then his character became like more human. He's like, he's like, um, uh, misguided. Yeah. But I, I don't even know how the X-Men series ended because I was watching Power Rangers until they replaced Jason and Trini and Zack. I cried when that happened. That, that was, that was the worst. And they aired it on Thanksgiving, too. Poor sweetie. Because it won the Fox Kids, uh, something. And I, I was so upset. Yeah, because I just got a brand new Jason figure. Not home! Go away! Oh, man. Oh. Come on, phone. Go away, phone. Give us a break. <laughs> Should we pause? No. Haha, <laughs> I clawed you in the back. Sorry, fans. Uh, we don't have time to pick up the phone because we're button mashing. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> well, I'm button meshing. I'm sure K-Wing is actually doing real moves. <laughs> she sounds like she's crying. <laughs> yeah, her hers is the worst. I don't mind this. What's her name? Bedazzle? I don't mind her. She's Dazzler. Actually, she's kind of cool. You're, you're the first person I know that has ever liked 
playing as Dazzler in this game. Hey, true believers, don't worry, we have another exciting, thrilling episode for you tomorrow. The weekends are going to be our retro-inspired episodes from now on, so please leave suggestions for two-player games that you wish to see me and the missus play. If you haven't already, please subscribe, and until we meet again, gamers, God bless and happy gaming.